Hi, first grade. I have an exciting book today. It is called The Fantastic Undersea Life of Jacques Cousteau. <clears throat> you might be like, wow, he has a fancy name. Well, Jacques Cousteau is French, so he has a French name. Jacques is like our version of the name Jack. I'm doing this a little bit different today. I don't have as many pictures, but I'm going to hold the book up. Um, <clears throat> so let me know what you think, if you like the whole book or part of a book. I'll still stop and ask questions along the way. All right, let's get started. Here is the cover. I thought you might like to see that. So this is the cover of the book. And let's look at our skill. We are going to retell today. It's right in green. What is it, do you ask? I can retell a text. Retell means to tell the most important parts of the text in order. Let's say that again. What is it? I can retell a text. Retell means to tell the most important part of the text in order. How do we do it? I tell about the major events in the beginning, middle, and end of a text. You have to include the main idea and important details. Details are small. Why do we do it? Good readers retell a story to help them remember all the important parts of the story. So I'm going to ask you some questions about retell today. So let's get going. Okay, so this is a picture that we're going to stop on. I'm going to start the book and we are going to get going. Jacques Cousteau. All right, here we go. Jacques Cousteau, he loved the sea. Here's your picture. He loved the sea. He spent his whole life exploring it. The ocean was the most incredible place he'd ever seen, and he wanted to share its beauty with the world. Here's the next picture. It says, growing up in France, little Jacques was a weak and sickly boy. Doctors encouraged him to swim to build up his strength. He discovered that he loved the water. Jacques also liked to tinker with bit and build all sorts of gadgets. He saved his money and bought a camera to make his own movie. And then he took it apart to see how it would work. There he is. When he was a young man, Jacques, wanted bad, Jacques was badly hurt in a car accident. Doctors told him he'd have to wear an arm brace for the rest of his life. He refused to accept this. Just as he had done before, he turned to the sea for strength and he swam every day in the Mediterranean. A friend gave him a pair of goggles so that he could see underwater. The goggles changed his life forever. Here's your picture. Okay, so I'm going to think right here. I'm going to stop. And I'm going to think about what happened. I'm going to tell the text in order. So that means I'm going to retell what happened. All right, so I need to figure out only the key details, but I'm looking for the beginning, the middle, and the end. All right, I know the topic of this tax is Jacques Cousteau. And let's see, in the first page, we learned that he loved the ocean. Swimming helped him heal when he was a young boy, when he was sick. Then swimming helped him again when he was older and he was hurt in a car accident. It seems like the ocean is very important to Jacques because he loved to explore the sea. I think the major details in the beginning of this story, ever since he was little, Jacques loved the ocean. Is he loved swimming because it helped him heal. He also loved to explore the sea life. So we're identifying key details to help us recall the text. All right, so this picture is actually going to go along with what we're reading next. We got one page before. Cousteau wanted to stay underwater even longer. The diving suits of his day were heavy and bulky. They did not allow much freedom of movement. And the air hose was tethered to a boat. It looked like this, almost like a space suit, right? And now the page you're on is the page I'm going to read. So the words are right there. So Jacques sat about tinkering, making, fashioning snorkels from things like inner tubes and garden hoses, but they weren't good enough. Cousteau and his engineering friends, Emile Gagam, created a breathing apparatus they called the Aqualog. That's in the picture right there. It was the first machine that would let a diver breathe underwater for long periods of time. So that's the thing like you see today. He has, uh, it goes on your back and in the, um, you have your goggles on and the hose goes into the tank. 
the green tank that is right there, pardon my circles, uh, that has the oxygen in it. That way you could go underwater um, for a long period of time and not have to be stuck on a ship. Okay, so why did Jacques, what did he invent and why? I guess he answered my own question. Hmm, he invented, I'll let you know. He invented the first type of scuba tank where you could swim underwater without having to come up for breath. Jacques invented this because he wanted to stay underwater and explore for long periods of time. All right, we are going to keep reading. That's going to be your next page. I got some in between though. Now Cousteau was truly, was free to truly explore a silent world that opened up to him. This is the picture on that one. Cousteau wanted to share his amazing beauty of the sea with the world, so he created an airtight cover for his camera, and he made lights to illuminate the sea's mysterious way so he could see underwater. That picture. And here's a picture that doesn't have any words. So now he's recording what he sees underwater. How amazing. Now I'm on the pages in the picture. Cousteau bought a boat and turned it into his very own floating lab research and film studio. This boat is called the Calypso, just like in the picture, and it sailed all over the world. Think aloud. Wow, wow, wow. I'm thinking out loud. That is amazing. Number one, he decided to figure out how to film underwater by putting a special cover on his camera. Now he's bought this great big boat and transformed it into a research lab and film studio. So now he just sailed around the world to create movies of all his underwater exploration. Wow, that is amazing. Cousteau discovered many treasures in the Mediterranean Sea and there and it was there that he shot an entire movie called The Silent World. It was his first full-length color movie. It took the world by storm. So you see octopus in that picture. And there he is in that picture. Cousteau's film gave people their very first glimpse of the amazing universe under the waves. Everyone loved what they saw as much as Jack did, and they wanted to see more. So Cousteau decided he wanted to show them better. Cousteau's team invented the diving saucer, which could hold two people and go 350 meters into the ocean. The diving saucer is the yellow on there. Next came the sea flea, funny name, which held one person and could go down 500 meters. Cousteau was never and never ending quest to go deeper into the ocean. So the sea flea is this orange thing. Wow, he is amazing. Cousteau, Cousteau explored the frigid waters of Antarctica and found them teeming with penguins, humpback whales, and squid. Cousteau wanted to see if people could actually live underwater. He and his team built a series of underwater labs where people lived and worked for days and weeks at a time, but they found that people needed sunlight to live. So Cousteau's dream of colonizing the ocean was not to be found. Jacques Cousteau was the world's ambassador of the ocean. He produced 50 books, two encyclopedias, and dozens of films. His popular sea TV series, The Undersea World of Jacques Cousteau, fought whales, octopuses, otters, dolphins, right into people's living rooms. While enjoying the coast of Australia, Cousteau in his coral reefs saw coral reefs, kelp forests, and sponge gardens. They came face to face with a leafy sea dragon. When diving in the waters near France, Cousteau and his team found a sunken ship full of wine jars, 2,200 years old. They tasted the wine. Alas, it was bitter. It means it did not taste good, not taste good. So we're gonna keep going. We're almost done. The fish off the coast of Africa were friendly and curious and did not swim away. Cousteau was the first human being they'd ever seen. A big grouper, which is a fish, 
adapted the crew while they were filming and mischievously would lock, he would knock over lights and candles. And here is our last, oh, there's one of the pictures. Didn't realize I had that one. It was the Ambassadors to the Ocean. And here's the last page, which I'm going to read to you right now. But when they went back to the Mediterranean, remember they've been traveling around the world, Cousteau found it had changed. The seas were polluted. Plants and animals were dying. And the ocean's ambassador became their most important defender. That means he was going to help protect the ocean. He started the Cousteau Society, which is committed to educating people about the ocean, ocean life and protecting our seas from pollution. So why did Jacques Cousteau create the Cousteau Society? Hmm. Well, he created, he created the Cousteau Society to help protect the ocean from pollution and then teach people about ocean life. So that was the end of the story. So we are going to retell the events. We're going to put them in order. So think about the whole story from the beginning, the middle, and the end. So this was a biography about Jacques Cousteau, a real person. Think about the beginning. Ever since he was little, Jacques Cousteau loved the ocean. It helped him heal when he was sick and injured. He loved to explore the ocean life and sea. So now in the middle, he grew up and he became even more interested in the ocean. He invented the first scuba tank so he could breathe underwater for long periods of time. He also went to invent different types of submarines. And then near the end, he started creating movies so people around the world could see the ocean. He created the Cousteau Society to help educate about people around the world. So that was a really, really cool book. I've also included at the end uh, a website, his website, that maybe you want to look at for some further learning. Um, I hope you like the book. I thought that one was really, really interesting. Let me know if you like this video just with a few pictures or if you like it with all the pictures. First grade, that's it for today. Thank you.